That's a possum on the table. <laughs> <laughs> so is have, it possum or opossum on the that's, table? That's a great question. Uh -huh. This is a Virginia opossum. Opossum. In North America, we just have opossums. Opossum. Possums is another animal that's found in a different part of the world. How about but that? here it's it's acceptable to it's call accept them okay. possums, but they technically are opossums. Opossum. Yeah, I got that folks. Opossum. Yes. How about that? And I brought a really special possum okay. for you to meet today. Um, this is one of our education animals at the Nature Center. This is not an animal that makes a good pet, and yeah. most places it's against the law to keep them as pets. Okay, that's good but to know. unfortunately for this one, she was hit by a car when she was young and had a skull fracture. Um, she also get, got imprinted to people when she was in her rehab stage, and so that means she thinks that um, She's a funny looking person or we're funny looking possums, right? <laughs> okay. so, wow. so that's why she's in captivity. Okay. Um, but most possums, best place for them um, is in the wild. In the wild. Yes. Okay. But possums are so unique in North America. They are our only marsupial, okay. which is a pouched animal. Okay. Yep. Um, and so they're more closely related to kangaroos and koalas than anything else yeah. in North America. Interesting. Um, so she does have a pouch. Um, and the, so the females have a pouch. And after just about 12 days of gestation, so from when mom and dad get together until okay. when the young are born, um, for possums, it's only about 12 days. How about that? Yeah, wow. they're about the size of your pinky nail oh, and they're man. gonna crawl after they're born. They crawl up into her pouch and they're gonna live there for about another month and a half. Okay. Um, and then after that, and she can have up to 13 in her pouch. Wow. Um, after that, they're gonna hang out on her back for about another month. She's okay. gonna take them around to some good feeding spots, um, <laughs> which can be um, around human, um, houses, sure. trash cans, sure. we just generate a lot of waste and they just see that as a food resource. Got it. So um, really unique in North America. Something oh. else really cool about them, if you see their skull, they have more teeth than That's any other land mammal in North America. They have over, they have 50 teeth. Um, so that's quite a bit. Um, 50 teeth is quite a bite. Yes. Right, 50 teeth. Okay. And they'll use the, those teeth. Some of the things that possums are kind of known for or maybe misunderstood about is their defense mechanisms. Yeah. So one of the things they're gonna do if they get scared is they're gonna show all their 50 teeth. <laughs> they might hiss or growl or even foam at the mouth. Oh, um, and so that is um, just some of their defense mechanisms. The incidence of rabies in possums is very, very low. Okay. The other thing they do, a lot of people have heard of playing possum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's what possums do when they get really, really frightened. They will actually faint and a lot of times release a foul smelling odor most things don't want to eat something that's dead and really smelly. Sure. Um, oh, that kind of catatonic state can last um, up to like six hours. So um, that's kind of a, a unique um, thing for them. But unfortunately, it doesn't work on one of kind of um, the most dangerous things for them, which is cars. Yeah. So stopping yeah. and growling at a car doesn't really yeah, stop it, yeah. right. <laughs> and plus roadsides, one of the reasons we see them on roadsides is because they are scavengers. Okay. Um, so they're gonna be eating things off the side of the road yeah. and they're opportunists as well. Um, so that's some of the reasons we see them on the sides sure. of roads. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for explaining that. What, what is their survival rate out in the wild? Yeah, so unfortunately they're pretty short-lived animals. Oh, wow. um, okay. So in the wild, maybe one, one to two years in the wild. Wow. Um, in captivity, sometimes a little bit older, maybe four or five, mm -hmm. but because they reproduce so quickly, that can lead to some health issues um, as they start to get over a year or two. Okay, wow. So how long will you all keep Sugar? So she will be <laughs> with us actually for the rest of her life. So okay. um, sh when she was hit by a car, she has a skull fracture. And so she, her sense of smell is not very good, which is really important for them in the wild to help find their food. Um, and she's also imprinted. So we'll keep her um, at the nature center for the rest of her life. The rest of her life, how about that? Yeah. All right, so if we find a possum in our garden, in our yards, what should we do? Okay, so I get this question a lot. I'm sure. And a lot of times the first thing I ask them is, are you feeding a cat or a dog outside? Okay. Okay. because possums don't know the difference between cat food and possum food. Oh. So they're, you know, mostly active at nighttime, so they're going to be 
eating cat food or dog food if it's left outside. Right. Um, but there's, you know, what I like to say is you can let them be. They're right. not going to be causing too many issues. Here we go. Um, they're not going to be causing too many issues in your yard, but one of the ways to discourage them is to get rid of the food source that they're coming for. Okay, got it. Um, but I, you know, they're part of our urban landscape. Um, they're great cleaner uppers, so a lot of that <laughs> waste uppers. that, you know, we're, we're throwing away. And they're also eating a lot of insects, um, fruits and berries, okay. stuff like that. Okay. Now somebody's probably thinking, yeah, but I don't want them in my, my yard, so I... You know, yeah, so I... then, you know, exclusion, right? Okay. So mm -hmm. finding out how they're getting in and what they're attracted to um, and taking those access points as well as the food sources away is mm -hmm. what's going to keep the possums away. away. You can also try... You can also try some deterrents, should... things like a motion activated light or something like that, okay. that when they come into the yard, um, it'll scare them right sure. away and they'll tend to take off. They're not nearly as... Um, as... Uh, intelligent as raccoons uh, so they have a fairly small brain so things like bright lights loud sounds will scare them off of an area okay and you mentioned so they're active at night yes okay Ooh, they can be that. they can be opportunists they can be more like what we call crepuscular so um active like at dawn and dusk okay um, but as we were talking earlier they sleep a lot she spends <laughs> most of her day sleeping and just a, a few hours foraging during the day how about that and, and how long do they sleep? They I can sleep, I think, I think about 18 hours a day. <laughs> yeah, 18 hours a day. <laughs> yeah. That sounds good and relaxing sometimes, right? Yeah. How about that? But she's kind of, you know, she's curious right now. She's kind of um, sure. trying to figure out where things are. Um, but one of the things you can see on her right now is her tail. Okay. And her yeah. tail, she can't hang by her tail. Sometimes you'll see that in videos uh, or um, in books. They can't hang by their tails. Maybe when they're really young, they can. Um, but what she uses that for is to carry leaves up into her cavity that she sleeps oh. in overnight. The other thing about her tail that's um, kind of neat is possums build up fat in unique places. One of them is the base of their tail. The other one are the sides of their eyes. So if you see a possum with big bulging eyes, it just means that they're a little overweight. She, oh, really? as the nature center, they're on a diet to prevent okay. um, obesity, things like that. But sometimes you'll see ones with big bulging eyes and it's just that they're a little overweight. <laughs> It's in the eyes, how about that? Yeah, so how, how big do they get? Well, it can kind of vary. Um, she is an adult at this point. She's a little bit of a smaller adult, but they can get up to maybe five or six pounds, the males can. That is so interesting to me. Yeah, and you can see now, unfortunately yeah. for her, because of her injury, she's not great at smelling, yeah. but this is what you would around. see them doing out in the wild is um, just using their senses to, oh, yeah. um, to find their food. Okay, and before we wrap it up, what about, yeah, this. Yeah, so this is just the, a representation of their pelt. Yeah. And these hairs on the top are called um, guide hairs. And that's guide. actually what the young ones are holding on to when she's carrying them around. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Mary. This has been pretty cool. Yeah, pretty thank cool you for having us. Pretty cool to have us. a possum, opossum, <laughs> yeah, on the family plot table. Yeah. At that, how about that? <laughs> You're doing good, baby. You're doing good. Thank you much, all right? We appreciate you being here today. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.